Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Netlify tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to get started with Netlify and how you can deploy your first site with ease. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the Netlify dashboard that you get as soon as you sign up for a Netlify account. Again, if you want to sign up for an account, just search for Netlify on your browser and you should be able to see it on your first result on Google. And then you can either log in if you already have an account or sign up if you don't have one yet. Alternatively, you can also request a demo if you'd like that. All you have to do is fill in these details. Uh, just give your business email, company size, and how they can help so that they can tailor their live demo to your business needs. So once you're done with that, then you can jump straight into their uh, free trial, which is this dashboard right here. All right, so first up, Netlify is a popular platform for deploying, managing, and hosting websites. This is especially for static sites or those built with front-end frameworks like React, Vue, or Angular. Now, it's best to have these prerequisites before you actually jump into using Netlify. So these prerequisites include a basic website that's ready. This can be HTML, CSS, or JavaScript files, or a project built with a framework. Also, it's recommended to have a GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket account, but nevertheless, it's optional. Node.js installed is also necessary if your project requires a build process. But nevertheless, uh, you can jump right in by signing up and logging into Netlify. And here on the dashboard, you can already deploy a website. So we have a few options to choose from when deploying a website. Again, we can try by importing an existing project from Git. So I'm going to show you how that looks right here. So you can either deploy your project with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or Azure DevOps. Next up, you can also start from a template, which we'll go into further detail later on. We're going to try to build directly from Netlify. But the third option is if you want to deploy a new site without connecting to Git, you can drag and drop your site output folder here or browse to upload. So for example, you have a static site. You have the option to drag and drop it here. So you can just compress your website's files. This includes HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and assets into a single folder and then drag and drop this folder onto the drop your site folder here area in the dashboard and Netlify will deploy your site and you'll be given a live URL. So uh, we're gonna try to go over the starting from a template option by Netlify just to see if we can actually build a site directly with them. So here we're gonna start off with a template. Here are some popular templates. We can just opt for a default one right here you can also check for a live demo on each template as you can see there's also a source code let's try to check how the live demo looks like if you need to enter any details unblock your team boost your time to production you can get started here or you can also see tutorials if you need to so let's try to get started with it All right, so it's asking us to log in to Content Ops Starter, I believe. All right, so this is a different area from Netlify itself. So we're going to try to check this real quick. All right, so we're going to skip this part since the site is not responsive. But nevertheless, I think we can carry on just by directly using the template. So. We're not going to be able to see the source code and live demo option, but I believe we can proceed with this. So we're going to use this template. And then here you have the option to clone this template to your Git provider. So again, if you have a GitHub account, then uh, feel free to link it here. 
but we're gonna move forward or actually I think we need to choose a git provider yeah so Netlify will create a new repository for this template so uh, once you've selected your template you're gonna have to proceed by signing in to your github to carry on with Netlify authorization so once that's done then it will be uh, cloned to your git provider so that you'll see the template drafted into your sample site all right so for now we're going to move back to our dashboard right here and then we're just gonna take a quick tour on what we have from their dashboard so on the left hand side you have the sites so all your existing sites will be displayed here and you can also see the current team members this is the logo i believe of the company and here you have the team members and you need to upgrade to a certain plan to add more members since we're only using a free trial. You can see here the total members from this billing period, December 3 to January 3, 2025. So only one. Let's try to check which plans they have. So they have this pro plan at $19 per month. And we can check their inclusions here. So you have the starter features plus, background functions, password protected sites, one terabyte bandwidth, and 25K build minutes, audit logs with seven day history, shared environment variables, support for organization owned private Git repos, Slack and email notifications, as well as email support. So again, if you're convinced with Netlify services after trying their free trial, or maybe checking out their live demo, then you can get started with a pro plan right here. All right, so we're just gonna check the other parts of the members here. You have the Git contributors separated into two categories. So active Git contributors and inactive Git contributors. And you have the reviewers, which is uh, free right here. But right now, the team doesn't have any reviewers yet since we only have one member. All right, so let's check the builds. Keep track of build activity across your whole team. Netlify can automate builds of your site each time you push a change to your Git repo. So here, you can add a new site from Git on your builds. And then for extensions, we have here an extensive list of what you can include as a plugin for your website. These are powerful tools to extend functionality and streamline your workflow. So you can see some familiar apps like Adobe Experience Manager. You have the Blue Sky Custom Domain, Auth0 by Okta. So some authorization apps, Contentful, Digital Ocean, Content Stack. They have a very extensive list, so feel free to check this out so that you can improve the functionality of your website. You also have the domains here, so you can add your domain to Netlify. And then verify it, of course. So this is for the members, and we have the audit log here. For the team audit log, again, you need to upgrade to have access to this feature. And then there's a security scorecard. You have the billing over here, which shows your plan details if you're subscribed to their uh, premium plan and then of course the team settings if you need to change or configure anything with your website as well as with your processes and that's it for today thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time